Hey, what's up guys? How's everyone doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to back up um, your own personal game cartridges um, when you have when you're actually using the SD to Vita. Because unfortunately the SD to Vita um, the adapter goes into the game port. This is the PlayStation Slim and it goes up on the top. And if you want to back up physical copies of your game, you're going to have to do a few things. Um, it took me a little while yesterday to figure it out. I actually posted a copy of Black Ops Declassified on the forum, on the Reddit page that I'm running right now. Um, so if you guys want to join, you can. I'll leave the link down in the description below. But um, this took me a little while to figure it out. I had to read through a few um, threads to understand what to do and stuff like that. Um, and you, there you go. The Black Ops is right there. And it works perfectly fine, too. Just remember that I'm actually not signed into my PlayStation Network account. But you can still play this game, even though it tells you you need to be signed in. I will tell you, I cannot wait for Cold War to come out. It's going to be awesome. And there you go. So, I'm going to um, back up a copy of Silent Hill Book of Memories, which is, I didn't hear it's a great game. Um, to me, I consider this a Diablo clone, but it takes place in like the Silent Hill universe. And if you've never played Diablo, it's a great dungeon game. It's awesome. I love it. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, the first thing you want to do is you want to hit up Vita Shell. Load this bad boy up. Next, you want to go down to where it says UR0. You want to scroll all the way down to where you find the TIE folder, T-A-I. Go to config.txt. Now, underneath kernel, you should have a, a line of code, UR0 colon T-A-I for TIE slash storage manager. That's the program I'm using for the SD to Vita. You can either use the storage manager or the YAM. Um, the YAM boots up a lot quicker. Um, I did a video on it. Um, the storage manager is a little bit easier to config and stuff like that because you could use the auto plugin 2 application to set up the storage manager plugin. But what we want to do here is go to the line of storage manager dot SKPRX. You hit the X button where it says edit line. Just uh, give it a few extra letters. And there you go. It changes right there. Just hit zero or O. Do you uh, want to save your modification? Hit yes. Hit start. You want to power off. Now wait for the green light to stop blinking. Now, now I'm going to insert the there's the card. I'm going to insert the Silent Hill. What this does, it disables the SD to Vita, which is what you're going to need to do if you want to back up your uh, actually hard copy games. Because if you try to back up the video game card, um, without disabling the storage manager, you wouldn't be able to do it. There you go. Now on top, it shows the icon. Icon by the time, it shows you the icon of the game cart. So let's just hit this once. All this is going to do is get a license from the game itself that you're going to be needing um, later on in this video. So you don't need to play the game at all. Just uh, boot it up and then pretty much exit out of it. I 
I really hope this is Silent Hill for uh, PlayStation 5. It's been a long time. I'd rather Silent Hill than Resident Evil, actually. Even though I love zombies. There you go. Okay, we booted up. The game's in the main menu. There you go. Close out of that. Now, what you want to do is go back to Vita Shell. GR O zero is the game cartridge. That is what we need. So let's hit start. Let's go to move this over to game card. We're going to use the FTP method. Back out of that. Now you want to hit select. Now the FTP numbers come up. And let's go to the computer side of things. All right. Now, since you're over on the computer, PC, the desktop, whatever, you want to load up your um, FTP client, which mine is FileZilla. Right now, I'm going to be entering the FTP numbers that were displayed through the PlayStation Vita. This is the only way you could um, connect from the Vita to the PC, unless you want to go USB route. Uh, the GR-00 folder is the game card. And what you need first is under the UX0, go to no NPDRM folder. And you want to double click on the APP folder. That is where the no NPDRM license is going to be stored. Now I got two folders. The bottom folder um, is from yesterday's Call of Duty that I ripped. The top folder is the Silent Hill. So what you want to do is download the Silent Hill folder, which is the 00011 to the desktop. After that, you want to go to the GR00 folder, and there's going to be another app folder. You want to download that whole folder right there. Now, it's going to take some time. I'll speed up the process, and I'll catch you in a few seconds. All right, once that's transferred over and downloaded to your desktop, um, you could exit out of the FTP client or you could just minimize it, totally up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sp um, split both folders up onto um, both sides of the screen, one on the right and one on the left to make this a lot easier instead of flipping back and forth between folders. So the RIF is my no NPDRM license that we got when we just booted up the game for 15 seconds. That's it. So the left hand side is going to be the game folder. And what you want to do is you got to go to the game folder, this SCE underscore sys slash package. What you want to do is transfer the RIF file over to the package folder. Now, once the RIF file is over in the package folder, like I just said, you want to rename the whole file. And what you want to rename it to is work.bin. And you want to accept the changes. All right. After that, we could just close out of both windows. Like I'm doing right now, as you can see. And you're good to go. All right. Now, once back over here on the Vita, close out of this message that's displaying the FTP numbers. Just hit cancel, the circle button, or the O, or whatever you want to call it. Um... I'm going to show you that the game's still installed and the game cartridge is showing right there, right by the time. So, just for demonstration purposes and stuff like that, I took the game cartridge out. Comes up with this error. Let's close out of this. Let's go back to the Vita shell. Let's go to, yes, UR0, let's go down to the tie folder, go to config, remember when we had to disable the SD to Vita, let's turn this puppy back on, let's 
close out of the Vita shell. What you could have, what I could have done first was actually uninstall the game, then go to the UR0 tie folder and edit out that and edit the line for storage manager. But I didn't. I'm sorry, I should have done that first. But from here, you hit the triangle, then you hit the triangle again, delete. What you want to do is quick power plug-in that I have is that you hold down the PlayStation button and it pops up the standby and the power off which is great it's an awesome tool so let's power this bad boy off I am installing the SD card right now the ST DeVita that's back in the game port let's put this bad boy up Never ever, um... All right, once booted up, swipe that. You never ever want to uh, take out the SD to Vita adapter and SD card while the PlayStation Vita is on. Otherwise, you're just gonna screw yourself royally. So let's go back to the video show. Now it's time to drag and drop the file for the Silent Hill game from the desktop back over to the PlayStation Vita. So from here, you want to hit select and let's go head over to the PC side of things once again. All right, back over to the desktop, uh, what you want to do uh, again, you want to open up the FTP client, which mine is FileZilla. I'm going to use the Quick Connect to connect to the PlayStation Vita. From here, you want to find your UX0 folder and your app folder. Now, this is where you're going to be dragging and dropping your PlayStation Vita physical copy disk, or backup, I should say. Just follow what I'm doing, just copy that whole thing over. This is going to be this is going to take um, a few minutes, so I'll speed everything up for you, and I'll catch you on the flip side. All right. Once everything's transferred over, we close out of this message. Hit the O button. <clears throat> now... I should tell this is the Silent Hill folder, the PCSE 00011. Stuff's all there. What you want to do is hit the triangle button. You want to refresh live area. Now, let's say you um, did multiple backups of like physical releases. Let's say you did five. For those five, it's going to take a little bit longer for the live area to refresh because you have five games you're refreshing, if that makes any sense, I guess. But since we only have one, it should be super duper quick. Refresh one item. There we go. And as you can tell, the UR0 just, just changed megabytes as well. So, I would I would suggest the reboot just for whatever reason. I feel like rebooting is always the best thing to do. Or you're more than welcome to just exit out of this and go straight to the live area. But since I want to reboot, I'm just going to reboot. It's it's not going to hurt anything. I'm just so used to having tutorials saying after you get done with certain things, reboot your system, so things can. Um, um, be activated and, and stuff like that so things can take an effect
So the SD to Vita card is in here. There's Silent Hill. I don't know why it's... I don't know why this bubble came to a uh, fourth page. I figured it would be over here in the corner someplace. Because that honestly did scare me like I messed up the uh, whole video. But here's Silent Hill. Remember, there's no game card in the game port at all. SD DeVita is in here. And um, yeah, that's it. It's easy. It's not that hard uh, once you get used to it. And if you, once you do it like a few times, it gets quicker and quicker and quicker. So I'm going to probably upload this to my Google Drive, the game, and post it on the forum for Reddit that I created. Um, it's nice we have 56 subs uh, subscribers. Um, just need more people to chime in and post and stuff like that. It, I will say it is difficult to um, start a forum and whatnot since there's plenty of other forums out there for PS uh, Vita. And um, like I said earlier, the only reason I made it is that I got tired of seeing different other forums delete people's posts about illegal activity like backups of games or game dumps because um, they have bots that delete people's comments and they take the time to write something that they need help with and I find that to be a little ag aggravating and I don't think it's cool at all even though you want to um, be within the guidelines and stuff but that's the only reason why I created this the Vita Lounge um, forum and I found out that there's a Vita Lounge website actually that it's no longer working um, Plus, they had a podcast, too, which I just found out through a private message on, on Reddit. So, yeah, that's that's my rant for today. These must be different levels or something. I don't know. But, nonetheless, the game works. So, I'll probably upload this with pictures and stuff like that, like I did with the Call of Duty, onto my um, subreddit forum. And hopefully this, this worked for you guys. Any questions, let me know. Um, remember, I'm using Storage Manager um, on my PlayStation uh, Vita Slim. On my PlayStation Vita Fat 1000, I'm using, um, I think it's Yam I'm actually using. So I haven't tested this method out with Yam yet, but I know Storage Manager works per perfectly fine. Most likely, you just have to edit out a, a line for the from the config.txt file if you're using yam and it should work the same way as storage manager did so that's it hope you guys enjoyed please comment like subscribe if you didn't like hey you didn't like it my bad um but um everybody enjoy